If you want to learn how to make Ghibli style textures in Substance Painter, the latest course from the 3D coloring book was made for you. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to consider getting the course. Now let's get into this week's video. After finishing my room, I modeled the plants. So for succulent plants, I started with a single leaf I made in locally. I put an empty plane axis for the origin and I applied an array modifier on the leaf. You can use it to repeat an object as much as you want. Here I used it to repeat my leaf in a circle with the help of the axis. When your mesh is like this, it's because its rotation or scale has been changed, so just press down Ctrl A and select the property you want to make as default. Now I can rotate my axis and my leaf is duplicated into a circle. I just need to increase the leaf's number and rotate the axis again. I then duplicated the first level several times and voila! Here is a low poly succulent plant. For hanging plants, I use curves, but not the bezier ones. I prefer to start with a vertex. For that, I just create a random mesh. I keep a single vertex. I change its origin to make it easier to move, and I recenter it. In edit mode, just extract the vertex again and again until you get the desired shape. Don't forget to convert it to a curve because it's still considered as a mesh. I finally put a curve modifier on the plant. I select the curve and then I can drag the plant along the curve. This is how I made my hanging plants. Finally, for more chaotic plants, I used Blender's particle system and I chose the hair version. With this, I can control the number of leaves, the seed, their rotation and their scale. I just need to switch the render as an object and select my reference leaf. Then I can adapt the parameters until I get what I want. For the leaf's textures, I hand painted them on Substance Painter. I used a fill layer for the color base and simple layers for painting patterns. When I import the textures into Blender, I like adding some additional nodes such as RGB curves or hue saturation value node. It allows me to have even more control on my texture display. I can adapt it to the rest of the scene and then choose the best color match. I also like to add subsurface scattering, but just a little. It allows the light to go through the leaves. With those techniques, I managed to basically create all planes I wanted. You just need to be creative. Of course, I didn't hesitate to look for even more planes references when I needed new ones. <laughs> 